So quick question. According to America's standards, what is your ethnicity? Black, right? American black, right? Now see, the Bible has given us the actual, uh, actual nationality of who we are according to the Bible, right? But our oppressors have given us a label that we're African Americans, that we're blacks, Negroes, niggers, right? Let's go to the Bible, see what the Bible says that who we are according to the Bible, right? Go to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1, right? So we're going to get, these are the direct descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the 12 children of Jacob. These are called the Israelites, right? So as a part of this right here, it says on this quoting that the American blacks, biblically is known as what? Judah, right? Amongst with his brother Benjamin, Levi, and so forth down, right? So this right here happened to the children of the Israelites. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake. So you are, you're familiar with Moses, right? In the biblical man of Moses, right? Okay, so Moses is speaking to a nation of people. Let's find out who he's speaking to. Unto all Israel. Unto all Israel. Unto all Israel. Now he didn't category put anybody else inside of that when he was talking to him. So like how me and you're talking. What's your name, sis? Brandy? Brandy. So like Brandy and my name is Adonijah. So like Adonijah and Brandy, you're talking, right? We're not talking to everybody else. I'm talking to you, right? Everybody else can hear me due to the speaker, but me and you're dialoguing, right? So I'm talking to you. So these words are being meant for the nation of Israel. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. I'm a De Deuteronomy 28, 68. Now let's find out that these things actually give me 15. That find out these things that happen, right? Because these right here on this charts, right? Did this happen? This happened? How do we know this happened? Because they told us it happened, right? But not even they told us because we know that our people went through it. Right. Our grandmothers and our grandfathers before us have given these stories and given the information. That's how we know what cotton fields are. When you find, when you ride around you see cotton fields, we know that pertains to a certain nation of people. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass. So now Moses was talking to the Israelites, right? Uh, uh, I said again? Your name? Brandy. So, Mo so Brandy, so Moses was talking to the Israelites, right? Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So he's saying if you don't listen and hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. So he's saying to observe and to do. So to actually apply the commandments that were been given, right? So if we do not do these things, read. And his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these Curses, curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses telling us that God has put us a, a, a specific commandments, statutes and laws that we must abide by. And if we don't, these curses shall come upon us. Go to Deuteronomy chapter, uh, 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now, Brandy. What type of transportation was used to bring the slaves to America? Ships. Now what are we reading? We're reading the Bible. This is not our words. We're reading the Bible. So these things that happen to our people, it's in the Bible that we're speaking about. Accurses. So he says we're going to bring you Israelites, you black men, black women, Hispanic men, Hispanic women, into slavery with ships. Let's continue to read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So it says the Lord. We didn't choose to do this by our chance. We didn't just say, you know what? Let's hop on the boat and see where it takes us. Right? For like we just said in the beginning, if we don't listen and obey God's commandments, that these curses shall be sent upon us. So these curses and disciplines were specifically sent to the nation of Israel by God himself. Right? Let's read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. What? Ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Brandy, is that true? Did that happen to us? That happened to us. Hey, young brother, how you doing? So we're we sp we speaking about slavery, right? Was your ancestors sold into slavery? Huh? I can't hear you with the mask on. You know, they weren't slaves. What's your nationality, brother? What's your nationality? You're Mexican, you're black, Puerto Rican? It's Mexican, right? So the conquistadors didn't come over to the side of the land and capture and conquer your people, the Aztecs. That didn't happen. That happened, right? So we're reading this out of the Bible. 
This happened to your people. You're right here, you're an Israelite, the direct descendant. Brandy, yourself, you're direct descendants of Israelites. And we're reading about the curses that happened to us for disobeying God's laws. We keep reading. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So when the Spaniards conquered the conquistadors, when the white men and Europeans conquered the black people, we were sold unto our enemies. Read. For bond men and bond women. Was this not facts? Were we not netting the, the, the master's babies? Were we not tilling the grounds, tilling the fields, building these buildings that we do now? These are biblical facts, Brandy. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.